Okay, I'm using the Lightwave RF Connect. I'm using the LED driver, which is model JS JS LW576, which I want to use to um, automate my RGB uh, strip. So I've got 50/50 strip, and I have a fatal error in that the module is a RGB with a negative common zero volts and my strip that is really cheap to buy on eBay is common positive. Now I have looked around on eBay and to get a common cathode instead is really difficult. Uh, in fact I've not found any. I've found little bits online of really dubious websites, loads of American websites and I can't find anything. Um, I'm sure I could if I looked hard enough and I wanted to spend more money but considering I've already got 10 meters of this and it is so cheap uh, I'd rather use it. So I've been looking online to try and find a way of connecting um, these up and I've come across this guy uh, error code so this is all credit to error code X um, who's managed to on um, Instructables he's managed to come up with a circuit that's going to change and allow us to use our common uh, anode to on a common cathode module. So we're going to pause the video here and I'm going to show you the components we're going to use to build the circuit. Here we are back with the components now then. So I've got these high power MPN silicon transistors. Um, I must admit this isn't going to be a pretty uh, design to it. Just in the fact that I'm using uh, normal strip board here. So I just, to be honest I just thought this was the quickest and easiest way of doing it. Uh, and there's an example of somebody online using this stuff. so. I thought I'd go with it even though I've used copper boarding in the past. Uh, I'm going to put it in a case as well, just so that it's a bit more secure, so hopefully it will fit in without having to cut it down, but we'll see. Um, I've also used my 0.6 watt 1 kilo resistors, so you only need 3 of those and 5 instead. Uh, and then we're going to lay it out as per that schematic. So I'm going to pause it now, lay it all out, and then we'll open that. So now